What's up guys, Mentu the SMG here, and we are playing some Team Deathmatch on lockdown right now. And let me tell you a grand tale of what happened today. It all started yesterday when my friend called me up and said, Hey, do you want to go help my grandma with some yard work with me? And I said, yeah, I don't got anything better to do, and we'll go out there. So I don't know if everyone knows this, but... Alabama is like under a heat wave right now and it's like making world record heating records. I don't know if there's a like world record or whatever, but for June it's like over a hundred. It marked a hundred and one yesterday. And let me just tell you, it's really hot. So we spent about nine hours, nine to ten hours out there. Just doing everything that the lady told us to do and he said yeah she'll pay us well and she did so we finished it up and then she took us out and she fed us some barbecue and then uh, so she gave us some money and the other present was that me and him had said we wanted to pick up fishing because we'd seen a lot of people start to fish here recently and I've wanted to get back to it because <laughs> you know I've just been so many times which is a complete lie the only time I've ever been fishing was with the Boy Scouts when I was like eight or even younger than that so I thought I would give it a shot again so she gave us some she gave us both one rod and it was they were they were pretty pretty good but today I got up and had a had a lunch with our old class officers and everything just to rejoice about old times and then after that I said hey you wanna go you wanna go fishing nah that guy's kinda mad what the heck uh, <laughs> so I said hey you wanna go fishing so he agreed and then we went to Walmart because one of my friends had said, you go to Walmart and you pay them $12 and they'll give you a fishing license. And it's about as easy as that. So we went over there and we were going to pick up some hooks and some line and everything like that we needed. And right when we got to the parking lot, we said, oh, maybe we should uh, figure out what line and everything we actually need. So we got the rods out of the back of the car and one of the hooks that was attached to the line already. Um, wow, okay, mother. Wow, that guy is really mad. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we got the rods out and one of the hooks had attached itself to a uh, towel in the back of the car. So he was standing back there while I was inspecting everything and he uh, was trying to unhook the towel. So he started struggling and then he kind of yanked on it and the hook went like right into his finger. And it's one of those barbed hooks, of course, why wouldn't it be, that uh, I always kill that Steven guy, I don't know. Steven is not a champ. Um, so it's one of those barbed hooks that aren't supposed to be easy to get out. And it's pretty funny because earlier in the day he said, yeah, we're really going to need to unbarb these hooks so it doesn't harm the fish as bad because, I mean, we're not going to, like, go out and eat them or anything. We're just going to throw them back and so we need to, like, lower the barbs on these hooks so it doesn't hurt them as bad. So I said, yeah, we probably should. And then now he's got a hook in his finger. So we decided just to go home with a hook in his finger instead of taking him to the hospital immediately because I didn't know what to do. Those guys are campers. Um, so my mom said, all right, everyone get in the car and Cameron, you can drive. We'll, we'll go to the hospital, get this thing removed. So uh, that's, where, that's where my story pretty much ends. He got there, he was pretty freaked out. I was kind of freaked out too because I don't like seeing pointy objects impaling things and uh, 
Yeah, so I gave him my phone so he could watch Netflix because we were we were watching some uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender in the waiting room to get our mind off of everything. So I let him finish up the season while he's getting his hook removed. And yeah, so I'm I feel like I'm pretty much naked right now because keep on checking my pocket and, and I keep on feeling those ghost vibrates and everything like that because I think I have my phone but I really don't so I'm, I'm naked right now everyone it's not a good feeling I have no idea who's texting me and his car is parked behind me so he's got my phone and he's pretty much got my car but I'm not the one with a hook in my hand so can't complain too bad that guy is a douche so yeah, sorry about the kind of crappy gameplay. It's more of a story related thing. Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Friendly predator missile inbound. Where'd you go? Come on, let's win this. I don't want Steven as a champ to win. Now that I'm not telling a story, I might actually start to do decent. So what that crap was before was indecent. That's C4. As a champ. Oh wow, he didn't say anything. Ah! Don't kill me. We're taking the lead. I'll meet you up there, sir. You can walk up those steps. I'll walk up these steps and we'll meet up here. Hello? There you are. Specialist! I'm Superman! Oh shoot! I don't want to get sniped. No, oh, that sucks. Where they at? Reaching around. Oh, triple! That was so pretty. Don't lose. Don't lose. No one lose. Stop losing, Cameron! <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no! No, I didn't see him! No, is there. Oh! Steven is a champ lost! And I went positive! Yeah, tell me if you guys like these more story commentaries and give me any other comments or reflections that you might have about my channel or my videos and my content. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and hope you guys enjoyed the lovely epic fishing story and he definitely caught a big one. But have a great day guys and bye.